If you don't eat properly nourishing foods, you will be weak. It's like Gary is a physical fitness trainer. And people come to his Malibu gym to get trained. Now what happens if somebody's starving? How much could they actually work? How much could they build their bodies? You know, they, Gary will tell them, you know, the types of food they have to eat to have the nutrition by which they will get strength to do it properly. Yes? So spiritually, we need food. Otherwise, we may have big bodies and we may have very, very profoundly in, in, acute intelligence to do business. But spiritually, we're just feeble weaklings. Yes? And that's what most big people are today. They're just feeble weaklings. Maya just, just with one finger, just pushes them and they're just... And therefore they give in to greed and they give in to envy and they give up to, in, in to their selfish, passionate motivations and they give in to their lust. That means they're just spiritual weaklings. They're starving. And a saintly person will pity such an ignorant fool. Although the world is bowing at their feet as being great. Yes? So what I'm saying is that we need food to have strength. And that strength will give us the proper perception. And what is the food we need? Offering prayers, chanting God's names, hearing the truth, associating with saintly persons, doing proper puja with the proper state of consciousness. These are all spiritual practices that are like food, especially hearing and chanting and the association of saintly persons. It gives us food. It gives us strength in which we can maintain our spiritual, moral, and ethical integrity under all circumstances, and we're fixed in our goal. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.